Good morning. Good afternoon. What's up, family? You know, I'm going to do this real quick. Um, because it's leading to a larger conversation that I want to have. And that is, uh, you know, people are, are asking asking me my take on this whole craziness going on with young Pharaoh. Those of y'all who worship that young man, you know, I, I don't know why for the life of me, um, why some people can come in. And they're going to show you how weak we are as men mentally as a people. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I got to, you know, uh, just speak on this for a minute because I always told y'all and I always made mention without sounding like I told you, I told you, I told you. But y'all have to be really mindful and careful of who y'all let in y'all spirits and what kind of vibration because some, everything that sounds good or somebody saying something different, you follow. Um, anytime you have a black man come in talking about black people in general, uh, and I, I don't mean it that they have a disagreement, but I mean totally disrespectful. To a man's work with, without no rhyme or reason, then you have to say to yourself, well, what is making this, what is this individual motive motivated by? Now, I had a very serious problem with all the work that the Nation of Islam puts in. Not so much that I want to blow the Nation of Islam horn. But for him to come in and start disrespecting Farrakhan the way he did and to have so many in the community uh, co-sign with him, I thought it was a travesty. And there's a lot of uh, people that follow uh, that was subscribers of mine that didn't like my commentary about what I thought about um, Young Pharaoh and his comments about the Nation of Islam and Farrakhan in particular, and he needed to cut it out because he couldn't, again, carry Farrakhan's jockstrap, okay? Uh, this fly-by-night internet stuff do not allow you the uh, resume to say you put in serious work to try to liberate and to, and to come to the aid of black people and for you to do that with the only world leader we basically have i thought it was a travesty you can say what you want to say about farrakhan okay i mean and think what you want to think about farrakhan but farrakhan is a national leader okay different people from different countries respect him no matter what reason there's none of you negroes that i know of that come out here talking all this crap are in there meeting with kings and queens and uh, dignitaries of other countries the way Farrakhan can and can speak Arabic and communicate with world leaders that are of the same hue as us. So as far as I'm concerned, how dare you even insult the minister like that by even attaching yourself to young Pharaoh and the, the, the stuff. Now let me just Keep it real. And the shit he was saying about Farrakhan. Okay? Now you have a situation where this young man, and I feel I'm I'm about the children here. And what I see is dysfunction. And we all have it, but it's time to address it. And when you got babies up in there, it's time for you to address it. Don't nobody need to be saying, oh, those ain't your kids. Let him handle it the way he does. No. Now that you want to be a public figure and you took public money and all this garbage is coming out about you, I've never seen, you, let me see you spot Farrakhan's light for you to have talked about him like a dog, for you to have said the mean-spirited, ugly, demonic things that you've said about my brother that I don't appreciate 
And I really wanted some people to get at you. Actually, they did for a minute. And the, the fact of the matter, it should have happened. And for all of y'all who sit there and allow people to just step in overnight and say mean-spirited, I mean, hypocritical things to posture themselves for some money, for money, it allows you to understand just how messed up and how diabolical we become as a, as a, as a, a group of people. No matter what you feel about people individually, or you don't like their religion, or you don't like this, that, and the other, can you spot their life? What kind of example is this for them children is what's going on with young Pharaoh and his uh, wife or whoever she is. I believe it's his young wife. He sounds like an abuser. He sounds like somebody that wants to be in total control because y'all done pumped his head up. Farrakhan's been pumped up by the world. Not just you Negroes. I've yet to hear. That's how you equate and quantify leadership. People who have, and I'm just letting you know, because a lot of y'all blunt babies don't even know what the hell leadership look like, feel like, smell like, taste like. Because you didn't follow this boy down a path to destruction. The black woman is God. And the way he disrespects that black woman, for all you fools who believe what he said, he can't mean it in his own house. And what it said, a man who was stooped that low to do that makes me wonder what you dealing with. What you dealing with? Because, see, the feminine energy is so strong amongst a lot of our young men. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to be in touch with your feminine energy. However, when you start acting like a bona fide bitch, then that's when you need to be checked. And if you out here with muscles beating up women, your woman, Anybody's woman. Then somebody needs to see you. And allow you to understand that that's not the way to go. That's not how any of this works. So for all of y'all who are young Pharaoh fans and uh, 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 on a, uh, a bandwagon of young Pharaoh, young Pharaoh, because of his blatant disrespect. I don't give a damn if I got four people that listen to me. I'd rather have a genuine four than a thousand of y'all that's flimsy and wish-washy and I follow any damn thing down a new rabbit hole. The black woman is God. He better know it. I'm sorry. I, you know, I want to know what y'all think. Oh, I'm out of line. Let me know. Because I don't appreciate what I was sent to even listen to that mess. What do you think about somebody who portrayed a black woman as God and then to hear her speak of the abuse? I know it's two sides to every story. I also know when uh, a person sounds like they got narcissistic tendencies and where there's smoke there's fire and you keep watching the disrespect it always never ceases to amaze uh, amaze me it don't stop it don't stop like that because if you can jump out and disrespect other people let's follow you I'm done I want to know what y'all think about it Young Pharaoh in his situation with his woman. You like what you hear? 
like, subscribe, and share, y'all. Um, uh, uh, it, it don't it don't take nothing. So like, subscribe, and share, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.